Hello everybody from Plant Review. Today I will talk about a species tulip that I bought as Tulipa Vedensky. Uh, Tulipa Vedensky is a tulip that uh, is found in Tajikistan and um, Uzbekistan. Uh, and uh, it, the species name Vendensky is actually uh, due to the, one of the most famous Russian botanists that uh, worked in uh, this area uh, to classify the flora of this area, so the plants in this uh, area. And uh, is one of the most famous uh, botanists uh, that st who studied the tulips. Tulipa Vendensky, um, I have a problem with these uh, plant because I bought from two different nurseries however both uh, this is a pot from um, let me see this is uh, the This is from Pottertons, there is an English nursery, uh, but I bought it also from uh, Aerobulb, the Venensky. Uh, unfortunately, not unfortunately, the plants were both very vigorous. You can see I have here the ones that I bought from uh, Aerobulb. So the flowers are precisely the same as you can see, uh, and the plants are really good very vigorous very nice bulbs I had from uh, both suppliers however the Venesky is uh, supposed to have uh, um, an octopus like structure of the leaves they are very close to the soil and uh, very undulated margins as you can see here the leaves instead are very similar to the most common triumph and um, Triumph and uh, Darwin uh, tulips, as you can see in the video. The color can, even in the species, can vary between a bright orange and a scarlet red, with the yellow uh, inner part of the uh, base of the flower. And actually, the yeah, as you can see, they they are incredibly bright, have incredibly bright orange flowers. Uh, and the orange of the flower uh, is in very intense both on the outside and the inside of the of the flower the only the base of the flower uh, fades in like a yellow area with uh, some uh, green olive spots at the base of the flower um, even in nature, uh, flowers can vary in color. Um, a lot of Tulipa Vedensky are bright red with just pure yellow base. However, some variation in the flowers can occur. What uh, really it uh, uh, looks strange to me is just that the leaves are so different. Anyway, I suppose that uh, this is a this is a problem that might occur uh, in uh, when you. Uh, by um, flowers when you don't see really the plant uh, in real life when you when you buy the bulbs uh, I can't say I'm disappointed by the bulbs I bought because uh, as you can see the flowers are very nice they are quite big they are about six seven centimeters tall the, they are on uh, pretty tall stems about 40 45 centimeters tall they don't stand very much upright, but this is probably due to the fact that I planted in a pot, so uh, they are not very deep in the ground. Um, there's a very, very light fragrance, the typical floral fragrance of the uh, tulip, but definitely I am really happy about the color of the tulip. Obviously, I am just wondering if I have the right species or just uh, maybe a hybrid or the Venensky because the Venensky is also um, suppose one of the species most commonly hybridized with the uh, Tulipa jasneriana that is supposed to, to be the main ancestor of uh, the tulip cultivars uh, we have in the market. However, regardless of the real species or a hybrid uh, this is definitely a plant I want to continue keeping in my garden 
and uh, hopefully <laughs> you will see some more videos or maybe the new seedlings because I'm thinking to actually try to pollinate these uh, tulips and then try to grow a few seedlings to see what I come up with. I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, thank you very much and see you next time. Bye.